Liz McComb has been bringing houses down across Europe for decades, especially in France. I said, if you don't do nothing but thank him, and today's a new day. She's like the biggest known gospel singer over there since Mahalia Jackson, and that's like 30 years ago. You know, because, you know, the, the French culture isn't really one that embraces gospel music or, or religious music even for that matter. They don't look at her as a gospel artist. They think of her as an American roots artist because her music is so rootsy. Paris, France is a long way from Liz McCombs, Cleveland, Ohio, where she was born in 1952, the sixth of seven children, and where she began singing when she was only three. But after studying theater at Cleveland's famed Caramu House, Liz followed one of her cousins to Paris, where she was introduced to producer Gerard Vachet. Her manager has worked very hard to make her famous in France. That's where they're based in Paris. And for the last 30 years, she's been, you know, performing at the Olympia Theater, the Palais des Sports, and all those kind of places, you know, that American artists usually don't get to perform at. Liz McComb has performed with American greats both secular and non-secular alike. Across the Atlantic, she is without question a gospel artist of rock star status with a musical style that is her own eclectic mix. It's traditional. Jesus said this, weep not for me. It's foot stomping. It's jazzy. There's a man but above all, her style is steeped in a gospel tradition, which she brought from Cleveland to Calais, from one continent to another. In 2007, Soul, Peace, and Love, her first American release in five years, was a testament to her transcendent talent. Liz McComb is a gospel great and an international icon.